guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So my name is Verlissa and in today's video I'm going to teach you 5 basic whacking arm drills. So before I begin this video, I want to mention a few things. So if you all are a beginner in whacking and you all just started whacking or you all you know, want to learn whacking, so it's good to know the history of whacking. Before any learning any style, I feel you all should know the history of that style before just driving into that style. So it's good to know the history. And for that, I will link down Kumari Suraj's uh, video down. She uh, spoke about uh, the whole history of whacking, like who are the originators, the OG punkers, then how whacking has evolved, even the spelling of whacking, how is it evolved now and earlier what it was. Because I feel people think that whacking is just arms and that is not about it. It has a lot of, it is very complex. Whacking is very complex. So it's good y'all watch that video if y'all are a beginner or if y'all know the history so it's good y'all can get into this video. So for the first basic arm drill. So this is the most basic arm drill and before you start practicing any routine you ha always have to make sure you practice your drills first and this is the number one drill you always have to practice. So this is my right hand I'm going to start with my right hand. So what you have to do is so you go one my hand is like this so it's one then you go back when you go back try extending your arm how much ever you can so when you do one it goes back it touches you make sure you touch it so it's one back front down so what it is touch then you go back you touch it come front you touch this part and then come down so it's one back one down the same thing with the left hand so you go one, back, one, down. So it's one, two, three, four. So it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Both hands. One, two, three, four. Make also, I forgot to mention this, but your hands for whacking are this or else a spoon. Like however you're comfortable. Because if you leave it normally, it doesn't look good. So if you have a proper hand, like how is your hand going to be, then it looks much neater because even when I started whacking, the problem I had was I used to not know I had to keep my hands like this. But later on when I started attending workshops and all, I came to know that you have to have a proper hand, otherwise it looks very messy. So we did the first one, which is one, two, three, four. This is the slow version. When you do it fast, it's like fast. It's when you do it fast, it's like not necessary you touch the points, but when you're practicing, you make sure because this will give you a proper stretch for your arms. And also, before starting any whacking arm drills, you all should do warm up like for your arms because that is very necessary because it will help you stretch your arm muscles very well and it can give you a like proper posture rather than without doing and it will not hurt your arms also later. So, let's move on to one. So for the second one, the second one is back and forth. So this is a most common one which everyone does. So it is you place your hands over here, the same spoon thing. So you keep over here, one over here. So it's one, back, the same place where you had kept for this one. So you go from here, back, front, back. This can be like fast, it can be like one, two, three four like you can change your angles when you do this it can just be one two back and forth so that is your basic arm drill so this is around the world and also i forgot to mention that there is no specific name for any whacking drills these names are just given by like the teachers who have been teaching us like these names are not like the specific names because people call these because whacking doesn't have like a proper arm drill names so it is one two three four you just call this around the world or whatever so i'm giving these names as for how like i've learned from these are the names which i've been taught by like this so for the third one it is around the world so it's it should be around your ears make sure it is around your ears so when you do it so it's around your ear so it can go front back then it's front anything so it goes back, it goes front. This is like a smaller version. The, the bigger version is one, two. One, 
to make sure when you do it your arms are like this shouldn't be like this should be like fully stretched out so it's one two one two or you can do like one two one two back and forth like anyhow in the front in the back so this was your third arm drill so for your fourth arm drill so this is one arm drill but it's like cut into two so it is a full circle and it's also a semi circle so now i will teach you the semi circle one so the fourth one is a semi circle so for this you go one hit back front down so you go one turn hit hit down turn back front down so this is your semi circle one so when it it's like fast so it looks like tuck 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 down it's like that or uh, slowly you can be like this down make make sure you know your points where you go back front which comes first so it is turn this you turn back front down turn back front down the same thing with your left hand so you go turn back front down you turn back front down so it can be like 1 2 3 like this or you can do it slower like this anything just make sure you know your positions properly so it doesn't look very messy so for your fifth and the last arm drill so this is just a fuller version of the semi circle one so this is now a full circle so you go go like this turn back front down so it's like a whole circle motion so you go turn turn back front down so it's making like a whole circle so the same thing with your left hand you go turn back front down turn back front down so it will look like this when it's fast it's tuck 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 down so make sure you keep practicing this drills because you won't get this at the first time no one gets it at the first time unless like you have very good arms and you like stretch a lot so it doesn't hurt you when you first start whacking because when you first start uh, doing arm drills it will pain your arms will pain over here so you have to stretch in order you don't get that pain later because it stays for days to then come back to normal also many people have this question that how to get my left side better like you are a right handed person so it will be easy for you to get your right hand drills and little difficult to get your left and it's the opposite like whoever are left handed it's easier for them to do left hand as compared to right hand so for this what i at least do is when i suppose i'm starting my first arm drill so i did this i did this once then i'll do it three four times on my left hand so that it's like equal because i know my right hand will get it easier as compared to my left hand so when i do this once i will do this like going on do it keep on doing it until and unless i know ki my hands are like you know loose enough so that it can get the speed also uh, another tip is when you are uh, whacking like you play music and do one drill continuously for the whole song so you can like that you know you are practicing your drills properly or you can do it like for one minute each arm so these are the things you should keep in mind while you practice whacking because these are the important things so from the day one if you start practicing whacking like every day then it gets like it becomes much easier because at the first day compared to now how you are whacking there it shows a big change because if you keep practicing and for whacking you have to practice your drills every time like even if you're sitting just practice your arm drills when if you're doing anything just practice your drills just do this and also make sure to maintain your posture when you are doing whacking because you don't want to hurt yourself or you just don't want to make maintain a wrong position so just these are the things uh, which you have to keep in mind before whacking So that is it for this video. If you like this video, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel and there's a bell button over there so just click on it so it will notify you every time I post a video. If you all want more whacking videos like 
apart from basic now i've got the basic so you'll want more arm drills then just comment down i will make more videos like this so that is it bye